Welcome back to my channel, Love Lauren here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today, I'm gonna to be checking out Batman v Superman, the ultimate edition from 2016. Tons of you guys in the community have been recommending that I watch this movie ever since I watched Man of Steel and I loved Man of Steel. I thought that was such a cool movie. I loved Henry Cavill as Superman. I thought he knocked it out of the park. I thought he was so incredible. Absolutely loved his performance. I admittedly am a huge Batman fan though. I've been a big fan of Batman ever since I was a little girl. In this past year, I've really grown to love Superman just as much as I love Batman. So the thought of the two of them going head to head definitely has me feeling a certain way, but this is gonna be my first time seeing Ben Affleck as Batman. So I'm really excited to see his performance as Batman. And I'm of course very excited to see Henry Cavill again playing Superman. So without further ado, grab your chicky nuggies, grab your chalky milk, and let's jump in. I'm so excited for this. I feel like this is gonna be so cool. I can't contain my excitement. There was a time above, a time before. Diamond absolutes, things fall. And what falls is fallen. Bruce. They've got Je whoa, 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 wait a second. They got Maggie and Negan, Jeffrey Dean Morgan playing Batman's parents right now. Oh my God. I actually love that. It's just so crazy to me that they have Maggie and Negan as Batman's parents. <laughs> because in The Walking Dead, you know, they hated each other's guts because of what Negan did to, uh, you know, Glenn. No spoilers. That's a lot of bats. Whoa. In the dream, they took me to the light. A beautiful lie. Oh wow, so this is taking place literally like right after like Man of Steel or kind of during Man of Steel, the end of Man of Steel? Jack, listen to me. I want you to get everyone out of the building right now. Oh my God. God, that's crazy. So Bruce was in Metropolis when that whole thing was going down. Superman and Zod fighting? Heavenly God, creator of heaven and earth, have mercy on my soul. Oh, I can't feel my legs. You're gonna be okay. You hear me? You're the boss, boss. I can definitely see how Bruce might have some animosity after that whole situation. <gasps> Is that kryptonite? Oh. Miss Lane. I'm glad they have Amy Adams again as Lois Lane. I really like her. Uh. They did not tell me the interview was with the lady. I'm not a lady, I'm a journalist. It's just a camera. I don't know, but you just exposed. CIA. They're threatening us. You! Come on, no, no! Okay, and look at the most that fell asuka on Netherit. Or Tisirwala. It's okay, Lois. Quickly! 
Target locked. You are clear to engage. Armed hot and in range. Two. One. trying to make it look like Superman did all that? He came down, then came fire. Let the record show that this committee holds him responsible. He'll never answer to you. He answers to no one. He didn't even do any of that. Wow, what? What? Really only the die -hard will have no, Charlie, 27 Fair reports the screams coming from vacant homes. Okay, so the guys that actually did that that actually killed those people and burned all those bodies are like trying to frame Superman to make him look like he did that? Like he's the bad guy? Anything else? Oh. This is kind of scary. <laughs> oh my god, the way he crawled across the ceiling like that, that was actually pretty scary. Oh my god. He branded on it. <gasps> oh, what? Batman out here branded people? <laughs> That's new. Oh, that's so cute. They live together now. Hey, I was gonna cook. Surprise you. Oh, he brought home flowers. They're saying. I don't care. I don't care what they're saying. The woman I love could have been blown up or shot. I didn't kill those men if that's what they think, if that's what they're saying. I just don't know if it's possible. I don't know if what's possible. For you to love me and be you. <laughs> They're using me to fly the apartment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Still working? You're getting slow in your old age, Alfred. Oh, Alfred? Mr. Wayne? Oh, this is, um. Even you? This is Jeremy Irons. He voiced Scar in The Lion King. Final Perry Butterbar, Final Perry Butterbar, Final Perry Butterbar, Final Perry. Oh, that's cool. Batman's got a voice changer. This love new that. Layer of armor. Oh my god, I love that they have him playing as Alfred. Long live the king. <laughs> Anatoly Kanayazev. He's Russian. Oh, is that the same dude that was at the site that killed everyone? That burned, that killed and burned all of the bodies? New rules. Yeah, it's kind of wild that he's out here branding people. Oh, ahoy, ahoy. I did not know you were here. Man on the marquee. Oh, I've seen this guy in a couple movies. Himself, he was the Lex in front of the court. I can't How think you of doing? his name. Oh, really great. He was in that Facebook movie, right? Rich old ladies. They, they thought it was very cute, you know? Write checks for Lex. Wait, is he Lex Luthor? One of my rebuild Metropolis crews found it. A little souvenir from the Kryptonian world engine. When we expose General Zod to the mineral, found biodegradation. Oh, God. They're experimenting on Zod's body? And why would we want to weaponize this material? Silver bullet to keep in reserve to use against the Kryptonian? It's so weird that he's playing Lex Luthor. It'll just take some time for me to warm up to. You don't have to use a silver bullet, but if you forge one, we don't have to depend upon the kindness of monsters. He seems like a weird, like, Lex Luthor, doesn't he? It doesn't really, it doesn't feel like Lex Luthor. But I'm also comparing it to, like... Lex Luthor from Superman 1978 and Superman 2. Like, it, it, he feels very different. Access to the wreck of the crashed Kryptonian ship. Done. Ooh, that's not good. The complete remains of the dead alien for testing. You want Zod's body. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm. On 
underdog dreams dashed 10 yards between Gotham and Glove. Always love to see Lawrence Fishburne. I feel like I've been seeing him so much in the movies I've been watching lately. Trained on charges of vandalism, resisting arrest, and the felony charge. What does it say? False God? End of love affair with man in the sky? Question mark. This is kind of reminding me of like what Clark's dad was saying in Man of Steel, how we don't know how people are going to perceive him. You know what I mean? Whether they're going to perceive him as this good thing, like a god, or if they're going to be fearful of him and terrified. And it seems like right now the climate is very split, but it seems like it's siding more towards fearful. Like people are more afraid of him than they than they do idolize him. My guys in the crime lab never seen one before. It's called a bullet. Recovered from the scene of the firefight in the desert. So who gave prototype military rounds to Targ fighters in the Sahara? Seems like she's definitely onto something. My dad always said that Kentucky Mash was the secret to health. I'm blocking the import license for your mineral. The red cape's not coming. Can I call you Jew? You can call me whatever you like. Take a bucket of piss and call it Granny's peach tea. You won't fool a fly on me. I'm not gonna drink it. You don't think Dad would mind, do you? If I changed just one thing in this room? That should be upside down. The devils don't come from hell beneath us, no. No, they come from the sky. house damn all windows though <laughs> i don't know about that he got tiny little bat ears on that <laughs> you see how tiny those little ears are look at him lee you little baby bat ears let's see <laughs> that's a cool suit though whoa was that robin's outfit that had the said ha ha jokes on you batman who's that that is Bruce Wayne. Thank you. Uh, ooh, embarrassing me. Um, oh, that's a, uh, that's uh, a, <laughs> yeah. God, why can't I remember her uh, name? Gal Gadot? Gal Gadot, I think that's her name. I know she plays as Wonder Woman, but I have not seen Wonder Woman yet. I need to watch Wonder Woman next after this. <laughs> and for that, he was given a thunderbolt. True. That seems unfair. She's so beautiful. Gorgeous. Oh. Can I help you, Mr. Wayne? I thought the bathroom was down here. I must have... His room's upstairs. Great. I'm okay. Smooth. <laughs> Real smooth. And I am... <laughs> no. I, um, the bittersweet pain among men is having knowledge with no power. Because that is paradoxical. And, um... <laughs> Thank you for coming. <laughs> he is throwing me off so much. <laughs> oh my God. Clark Kent, Daily Planet. Oh, my foundation has already issued a statement in support of uh... So I wonder what Wonder Woman is doing here. Civil liberties are being trampled on in your city. Good people living in fear. Don't believe everything you hear, son. I've seen it, Mr. Wayne. He thinks he's above the law. The Daily Planet criticizing those who think they're above the law is a little hypocritical. Have your hero saves a cat out of a tree, you read a puff piece editorial. If he wanted to, could burn the whole place down. There wouldn't be a damn thing we could do to stop it. Most of the world doesn't share your opinion, Mr. Wayne. Have a bad history with freaks dressed like clowns. Boys! Oh, mm. Damn! Bruce Wayne meets Clark Kent. Ah, I love it! Lex, it is a pleasure. Ow! Wow! That is a good grip. You should not pick a fight with this person. You should opt the harbor more often, though. I'd love to show you my labs. Maybe we could partner on something. That's seven minutes. The flight the transfer is complete. Oh, Clark could totally hear that, huh? Why well, did you do that? Uh, where to go? Did she take it? No, 
<laughs> she is sneaky. We got Superman out here feeling like he needs to prove himself. Are there any moral constraints on this person? We have international law. The most powerful man in the world should be a figure of controversy. Maybe he's just a guy trying to do the right thing. Superman could have saved your child. Must there be a Superman? Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Like, this is what his dad was afraid of happening. What's happening right now? Like, this is... This is what they were talking about in Man of Steel. Fuck, man. You know what to do to people with dishonor? No, he's on your... Right. my thigh! Right. He... Who paid? Who paid? The hell are you? What the f do you want? To help you stand for something. Jesus Christ, so if you're branded by Batman, they just kill you? It's basically a death sentence? The other night you took something that doesn't belong to you. Is it stealing if you steal from another thief? I believe Mr. Luther is a photograph that belongs to me. You know, it's true what they say about little boys, born with no natural inclination to share. You'll find it in the glove compartment of your car. Interesting. Batman like that before. <laughs> it looks really cool. Did you get it? The rock? Yeah, we got it. I'm sorry. Look, they're all wearing the Superman logos on their arms. Wow, so is this like what would happen if Superman like took over the world? This is what Bruce is thinking would happen. She was my world. And you took her from me. I feel like there is so much to unpack there. Oh my God. Okay, I had to pause it because I feel like there is so much to unpack there. So that was this dream that Bruce was having. And it was this scenario where Superman had like taken over the world. And it was almost, it was like implied there when Superman was like, she was ever, she meant everything to me. Almost like that was his motivation to turn evil. Like maybe he lost Lois and turned evil and took over the planet and, you know, turned into this, this villain essentially. So, and I feel, I feel like Bruce has got it all wrong. And I, 
I I get where he's coming from though. Like after everything he witnessed, everything he experienced, all the people that died because of Superman, you know, and Zod fighting and because of that, you know, big old planet destroyer, none of that was Superman's fault. You know what I mean? Like I, I'm thinking in my head, you know, I just watched Man of Steel from my perspective. I don't think it was his fault. I, I, you know, Superman was trying to do the right thing in that whole situation. And it, it's horrible that innocent people died because of it. But I feel like Bruce is just seeing it from this one perspective. And he's, he's not looking further outside of this very narrow perspective that he has. Again, I totally understand where he's coming from. But I feel like he's, you know, villainizing Superman without knowing him without knowing his intentions, I feel like it's all coming out of this place of fear. But I don't know who that was that popped out of there or if that was part of his dream too, but it, it, I don't know, was that the Flash or somebody? I have no idea. Like, I feel like I really couldn't get a good look at him and I'm also not super familiar with the Flash. I'm just really wondering where this was gonna go at this point, but I feel like I needed to stop and take a sidebar to really kind of unpack what I was thinking about that whole situation because I feel like, oh my gosh, that was, there was a lot going on there and I needed to kind of unpack it and process it a little bit, but we're gonna continue now. A mineral capable of weakening Kryptonian cells. It is now aboard the White Portuguese being delivered to Lex Luthor, who I am gonna steal it from him to destroy. Now, you're gonna go to war. That son of a brought the war to us. If we believe there's even a 1% chance that he is our enemy, we have to take it as an absolute certainty. He is not our enemy. We've seen what promises are worth. How many good guys are left? How many stayed that way? Oh, Bruce. I know the mark all over. Guards don't care. That's the judge. One man decides who lives. How is that justice? A man like that, words don't stop him. You know what stops him? Fist. Yeah, then we got Superman over here questioning Batman because he thinks, you know, with branding people and basically you know, branding them is like a death sentence to them in prison. So Superman has a problem with Batman. I feel like, I feel like there's a solution to this. You know what I mean? I wish they could talk it out. I don't know. I'm really curious to see how this all works out though, because right now they're so pinned against each other. <laughs> That's a really cool shot of Batman. He put a tracker on it. Oh! Oh my god! Oh, the Batmobile looks so cool! <laughs> He's just dragging that thing around like a drag toy! Wow, that Batmobile looks so sick. Oh my god! Jesus, Batman! Oh my god! Time they shine your light in the sky, don't go to it. That is dead. Bury it. Consider this mercy. Tell me. Do you plead? You will. Man, this is this feels so f up. I love Batman and Superman so much and I hate that they're pinned against each other right now. Why can't they just be friends? Why can't they just be buddies? I never wanted this world to have you. Be their hero, Clark. Be their hero. 
be anything they need you to be or be none of it. You don't owe this world a thing. She's not wrong. Please. Sorry, she wouldn't leave. I didn't tell you the truth. CI thinks the desert was a setup. Somebody wanted Superman to look guilty. The metal was developed by a private company. What company? LexCorp. He also had private security contractors at the desert compound. Oh, wow. He said that the ambush was arranged to frame Superman, but how could they know that he'd show up in the... In the middle of the desert. Thank you. Lucer engineered the desert. Trust your reporter. Think Watergate. Yeah, and you... Oh, no. He's been using the committee as his puppet theater. Senator! So what you been up to? I'm just here to tell my story. The committee on Superman is soft on security. I'll get to the bottom of it. And there he is. Superman is here. Wow. Do you know the oldest lie in America, Senator? It's that power can be innocent. This dude out here always speaking in riddles. I swear he's here. <laughs> Reminds me of the Riddler, doesn't he? No! No! Oh, God! Oh, look at all the signs. Oh, God, I wonder what he's gonna say. I have sat here before to say that shadow interventions will not be tolerated by this committee. Neither will lies. Because today is a day for truth. Because only by speaking... Only by working together can we... We create a free and a... Oh... Thank you, uh, I'm gonna need a room to work. And everyone thinks he did it, that he's responsible for this. Superman was helping bring victims out after the blast, but he seems to have disappeared. Clark, there are people behind this. I'm afraid I didn't see it because I wasn't looking. It's not your fault, Superman. I've been living my life the way my father saw it. Writing wrongs for a ghost. Thinking I'm here to do good. Superman was never real. The dream of a farmer from Kansas. That farmer's dream is all some people have. It's all that gives them hope. This means something. It did on my world. My world doesn't exist anymore. Those are Zod's fingerprints. Wow, he was trying to access the ship? Oh, that's why he did that. Wow, that makes so much sense. Tonian Archive contains knowledge from 100,000 different worlds. Teach me. No. Oh, God. This is bad. This is really bad. He is uh, getting ready to fight Superman, it looks like. Damn it. I don't want them to fight. He 
He's like, oh, shit. <laughs> I've identified the host as General Zod of Kandor. Preparing chrysalis and commencing metamorphosis. What? The wheelchair and the bullet from the desert were made from the same metal. It was Lex. The inside of the chair was lined with lead. Yeah! Oh my god, because Superman can't see through lead. Oh my god, so that's why he couldn't see it. Oh god! It all makes so much sense! <laughs> Something, isn't it? We men of Kansas live on a pancake, so we come to the mountains. Did the nightmares ever stop? Yeah. When I met your mother. I miss you, son. I miss you too, Dad. You know you can't win this. It's suicide. This may be the only thing I do that matters. This is about the future of the world. It's my legacy. So falls the house of Wayne. No. <gasps> Batman. So intense! Oh my god! Wow, that is some really cool armor he's got on, though. He's ready to fight Superman. The night is here. This is going exactly the way Lex Luthor wanted it to go to. It's unfortunate. got his mom and Lois. Playing low in the morning. Low line slacks. Now the secret to the height is the building material. I've proven what you've done. Oh, you're feisty. Fortunately, that will blow away like sand in the desert. The straightest path to Superman is a pretty little road. <laughs> no way, no! Superman was there. You came back. You came back. Lee. Boy, do we have problems up here. Take you in without breaking you, which is more than you deserve. Horace, Apollo, Jehovah, Cal L, Clark. Wow, he knew his identity the whole time. They need to see the fraud you are. Blood on your head. You, my friend, have a date. Little red notes, big bang, you let your family die. You will fly to him and you will battle him to the death. God versus man, day versus night. You think I'll fight him for you? Mm, yes, I do. Every boy's special lady is his mother. Martha, Martha, Martha. Mm. I don't know! Kill me, Martha dies. And if you fly away, Martha also dies. Kill the bat. Martha lives. This is f***ed up. I have to go to Gotham to convince him to help me. Or he has to die. No one stays good in this world. Oh, I hope he helps him. Yeah, that's the Flash, right? And that's Aquaman! Was that Cyborg from Teen Titans? 
I loved Teen Titans when I was a kid. Oh my god. Teen Titans. One, two, three, four, go. Teen Titans. Here I am. Bruce, please. Lex wants us to... chance Bruce you don't understand I understand Watching them fight. Is horrible what they're doing to each other. You taught me the world only makes sense if you force it to. Oh, please don't do that. Famians, please don't do it. You are never a god. You are never even a man. Oh, you're letting him kill Martha. What does that mean? Why did you say that name? Save Martha! Oh, yeah, Batman's mom's name is Martha too! Oh, Stop! Why did you say that name? It's his mother's name! It's his mother's name. I'm so glad he didn't just kill Superman. I was so worried. Oh, I really hated the, to see the two of them fighting like that. He wanted your life for hers. My mother needs me. Wait, Martha won't die tonight. Lee, are you guys buddies now? Are we friends now? <laughs> oh! <laughs> God damn. Ooh. God, his suit looks so freaking cool, doesn't it? I love that his suit is like this charcoal gray color with the black accent. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> drop it. I said drop it! Believe me, I'll do it! I believe you.
friend of your son's. I figured. The cape. Lee! Oh! They love that Batman just saved her. Late, late, says the white rabbit. Hello? Break the bad news. I'd rather do the breaking in person. <laughs> You've lost. I don't know how to lose. You'll learn. Uh -huh, I'll learn. Cannot let you win. I gave the bat a fighting chance to do it, but he was not strong enough. Born to destroy you. Oh my god. What the f I'm shook right now. I am literally shook. There's space at the floor three. Excuse me? Kindly ask you to stay in your seats. Excuse me. She's gonna go help. Oh my god. It's like he's taking it into space. We can go straight to Key Red, Mr. President. Fire at will. Three, two, one. No! 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 Oh, God. Projectile two. No apparent re-entry. Projectile 2 was... Superman. Oh, Superman! Every time we hit it, we make it more powerful. I'm saying it's unkillable. To Superman, and they didn't even get it. about did you find the spear a bit a little busy i've killed things from other worlds before she with you i thought she was with you <laughs> oh man that's so cool oh my god God, this thing is so powerful. I wasn't expecting all three of them to team up here at the end and take this thing on, but it is so cool. Oh God, and Lois is trapped under here. Sends Lois. Oh. 
Damn, he saved her just in time. Stop. I love you. No, Clark, you can't. This is my world. You are my world. No. went right through the hope symbol. He comes back, right? Like he's not really dead. Was that kid that he grew up with, the one that bullied him. Clark had this sent here so he could surprise you. Damn, these bagpipes and got me f***ed up. Got my checkbook to pay the funeral director. They said it's all taken care of. Anonymous donor. Hey, Bruce. I just can't believe he's actually gone. They don't know how to honor him, except as a soldier. I failed him in life. I won't fail him in death. Help me find the others like you. Perhaps they don't want to be found. We have to stand together. A hundred years ago, I walked away from mankind. Men made a world where standing together is impossible. Men are still good. We fight, we kill, but we can rebuild. We can do better. We have to. The others like me. Why did you say they'll have to fight? Just a feeling. Whatever you do, wherever you go, I'll be watching you. I arranged for you to get transferred to Arkham Asylum in Gotham. The bells already been rung, and they've heard it. But in the dark, among the stars, ding dong, the god is dead. The bell has not been rung! He's found 
us. And he's coming! Wait, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. I feel like maybe Superman's not dead? Oh my God, I'm over here in tears crying. And then that, that little bit there at the end gave me just a little bit of hope that maybe Superman's not dead. I don't know, but I really love this movie. I really enjoyed it. It was so good getting to see Henry Cavill again as Superman. I thought he did a wonderful job. I feel like Superman was really misunderstood though. Like everybody kind of made him out to be the villain. And that was something that his dad warned about in Man of Steel where people were either going to see him as a god or they were going to be fearful and scared of him and villainize him. And that's exactly what happened. It was like this split where some people were really scared of him and some people like idolized him like he was a god. I was so sad to see him die in the end though. Like I always knew that Superman was a good guy, but I feel like he really proved it to the world that he was good and he sacrificed himself to save everybody. And it just made me so sad. I like could not help myself from tearing up when I saw that. But the end of this movie definitely gives me a little bit of hope that maybe Superman's not dead, that maybe, maybe he's alive somehow, I don't know, but I, I'm just really hoping so. Really incredible performance by Henry Cavill though. I loved him as Superman. I thought he did a wonderful job. And Ben Affleck also did a really good job as Batman. You could tell that Batman was really fearful of Superman, but I feel like his anger and resentment towards Superman was really misplaced. Like I understand his perspective. You know, he was there that day when the planet engine was destroying everything, was destroying Metropolis, killing tons of innocent people. And he was there when Zod and Superman were fighting each other. I feel like he villainized Superman without really understanding the situation that Superman was in. I really hated seeing the two of them fight though, seeing Batman and Superman fighting each other because I love them both so much. So it really killed me to see them fighting each other despite how cool that fight sequence was between the two of them. You know, a Batman using all of these kryptonite weapons and gas chemicals that he put together to fight Superman. I was really glad to see them team up there. Overall, I thought Ben Affleck did a really great job as Batman. I really loved his Batman suit. It was, I loved the texture of it and the color. It wasn't all black, you know what I mean? I feel like we're always used to seeing Batman in this like all black suit, but his was more of like this charcoal gunmetal color with black accents. You know, the, the Batman symbol was black, his cape was black and and the cowl was pretty cool. I don't know how I feel about the little tiny like bat ears on the cowl, but overall I really liked his suit. I thought it looked really cool. Some of my favorite scenes were definitely that nightmare scene where we see Batman in his nightmare and he's wearing like this cool trench coat and he's in this post-apocalyptic world where Superman, you know, becomes evil and takes over everything. That was really cool to see him in that getup. I've never seen anything like that before. So I really like that scene. I also really like that chase scene where Batman is chasing down Lex Luthor's dudes that have the kryptonite and he's, you know, like using cars as drag toys and just killing people left and right. I thought that was really sick. I really loved getting to see Wonder Woman come into play into all of this and team up with Batman and Superman there at the end. I thought that was so cool. I, I thought she was an absolute badass. I, I love Gal Gadot. I thought she did such a wonderful job and her portrayal of Wonder Woman was just so cool. It's definitely got me excited to watch Wonder Woman. I can't wait to see that movie and probably Justice League as well at some point. I'm very excited to watch those two movies next. I, however, did not like Lex Luthor. I don't know if it was because I was in my mind constantly comparing him to you know the old Lex Luthor from the Christopher Reeve Superman movies but something about him just felt really different like he kept giving me these like 
Riddler Joker vibes, and I feel like that's because he was constantly like talking and poetry and riddles, so that just felt kind of weird. This plan that he had where he created this Kryptonian Zod Frankenstein, that was shocking. That creature was terrifying. Like, so it just was so powerful and seemed unstoppable. So I, that was definitely a big shock for me. I, I I was not expecting that at all. Was really cool looking, definitely very terrifying, and I was glad to see Superman, you know, kill it in the end, even though he sacrificed himself to do it. The effects and cinematography in this movie were stunning. I wasn't expecting anything less than stunning. I thought it was incredible. And you know, for a three hour movie, I feel like it actually went by really fast. I felt like I was, like on the edge of my seat wanting to know more and like what was gonna happen next and just one thing after the other, it actually flew by really fast. So I thought it was an awesome movie and I think Zack Snyder did an incredible job with it. Definitely let me know what you guys thought of this movie, of the ultimate edition. I would love to hear your feedback. Definitely let me know what you thought of my reaction. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I would appreciate your support a ton. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Until next time. Dee-dee.